Flats fishing. I'm uh, a guest at Andros South here in the Bahamas. On Andros Island, you can expect wind. And my friend Andrew Bennett, when he invited me, he said, hey Tim, you know, if you could just help us get more distance in the wind, that'd really be great. So let me just give you a couple, two or three tips. Maybe you'll get a little bit more line speed and that'll give you more distance. So when you're fighting this kind of conditions that we have today, where the wind's really howling, it's critical to get high line speed. And you could either be genetically linked to my brother, Steve Rajeff, the world's casting champion. He's a tough guy. He's got big arms. He looks like a fiddler crab. I mean, he's got this like giant arm. Well, if you're not built like Steve Rajeff, then you shouldn't cast like Steve Rajeff. So I'm going to take you through maybe a couple different options for style. And if you use one of those, it might help you with your distance. Let's just start with a couple really quick fundamentals on distance casting. And I'm trying to keep this really simple, so I'm going to narrow all of these fancy terms down to two things. You ready? The first one is loop size. A small loop, a narrow loop, one foot wide or less, cuts through the wind better than a wide loop. You guys cool with that? The second thing is line speed. There is no substitute for high line speed when it comes to cutting through the wind or getting distance. So, how do you get a narrow loop? Let's do that one first. Well, the rod tip tracks in a perfectly straight line. And that's a lot to say because it seems crazy that while I'm making a cast, the tip will track straight. But actually, when you make good acceleration and all these other casting fundamentals, the rod tip tracks in a straight line. That gives you a very narrow loop. If your rod tip curves like you're painting an igloo, you can probably see this, you're going to get a wide loop. So separate tip category is going to be how to get a perfectly straight line and a narrow loop. But let's assume that because you've watched this, you are now throwing perfect loop size. So how do you get distance and cut through the wind? And it's line speed. And that's what we're going to talk about now. To make a good high speed cast involves more than just your right hand. I can get this line moving about maybe maybe about 150 miles an hour if I really nail it. But what I do with my left hand is called the double haul. And you can see it's sliding the line back and forth. I pull the line through, pull it. So I can get the rod going 150 and with my left hand. My buddy clocked a six weight rod at 207 miles per hour. So if you can get your left hand with this double haul movement down, I guarantee you, you'll get high line speed. Usually it screws up your loop shape, so you got to take some casting lessons. But when you're waiting the flats here in Andros Island and the wind picks up, you have to learn how to double haul. The double haul motion looks like this. My hand slides down and then it bounces back up. Then as I'm coming forward, I haul. And just as a rule of thumb, the length of your double haul and the aggressiveness match your right hand. So the haul matches the right hand in length and intensity. If I'm making a little short cast into the wind, I can increase my speed with a short double haul. When I'm going for it, I used to do distance competition. So long stroke, long cast means a long double haul. And the thing that people screw up the most on the double haul is tangle their line like I just did. But what screws up the most is where to put the power in your double haul. If I could get you to do one thing on your double haul, and that would be put the power at the end of the double haul. And guess what? That's exactly what you should do with the power in your casting hand. So you come forward and focus a lot of the power at the end of the stroke and focus your double haul speed in that same spot. So haul at the end, haul at the end. <clears throat> You put that power near the end of the stroke, give it a good haul, and you'll look like Echo Man. You'll get more distance and you'll catch more bonefish. Now, I gotta go fishing.